There are so many people and so many faces here and not here that I wish to thank today. I wish to thank our school for being the best place for me. But I have someone in particular that stands out among the rest, so I'm going to read you a little bit of a love letter. I have to read it because it's a little hard to say some of this stuff sometimes. But dear Andre, I have lost count of the times someone said, I don't know how you do it. Six kids, seminary, and a job. They say, wow, you're such an inspiration. And I roll my eyes, usually, and thank them and tell them that I don't do it alone. That I didn't have to, because you have been by my side every step of the way. I remember the day in the car many years ago when I blurted out, I think I'm going to be a minister. <laughs> and you were not the least bit surprised. And since that day, you have supported me with unconditional love and patience. You have edited papers that even I didn't understand. <laughs> and dealt with me being gone for weeks at a time. But most importantly, you have taught me the real meaning of love and that I am worthy of it. Of it. But I think that you taught me that the day you stole my heart. It was a hot summer day almost 25 years ago, and I was sitting at the sewing machine thinking about a dream I'd had about you. The doorbell rang, and there you stood with an armload of flowers that you had pirated from our neighbor's yards. <laughs> I looked at you and knew that you loved me, and I knew that I loved you too. And that is how I can do this. Because no matter how hard I have to work, I can just look in your eyes and know that I am loved. Thank you, my dear. I love you.